Okay, hi there. Welcome to a macroeconomics video. Uh, in the lesson a few days ago, we were thinking uh, with my class about the difference between nominal and real GDP, helping to better understand uh, some key macroeconomic indicators. So let's take a look at uh, that difference. So real GDP is one of those indicators that oftentimes comes up in the news. The level of real GDP in the UK, for example, in August of 2020 was up 2%, but still well down the level before lockdown started. So when people talk about real national income, they're essentially uh, converting a nominal value into a real value. Well, what do we mean by nominal value? Well, nominal value is basically a current monetary value. So if I go to the supermarket and spend £4 on a meal deal, let's say that's a nominal price. It has a nominal value of spending, uh, but it's not adjusted for the effects of inflation. So if I went to the supermarket to buy the same product in five years' time and it was still £4 in nominal terms, actually in real terms, it would probably be cheaper for me because, of course, the general level of goods and services, the prices of those goods and services, will have gone up. So nominal value does not adjust for inflation. And we sometimes, we sometimes call that money GDP or nominal GDP. Whereas real GDP... The real level of the value of output of goods and services measures the level of national income adjusted for inflation. In that sense, the growth of the economy measures the actual increase in the volume or quantity of goods and services produced within the boundaries of a country. Now, real GDP is an important calculation at A level. Uh, inflation clearly has an impact on our economy. What effect? Does inflation have on the real purchasing power of money held in cash? You could probably answer that question. If you had £100 today, what would happen to its real purchasing power in 10 years' time, for example? Well, it'll go down, won't it, because of inflation. Inflation is the percentage change in consumer prices, and inflation erodes or reduces the real value of a given amount of cash. According to the data... Prices today in the UK in 2020 are over 5,500% higher than the average prices that prevailed in 1940. The British pound has actually experienced inflation average of just over 5% between 1940 and 2020. That means that the, the real purchasing power of cash, as you can see from this chart, has fallen quite substantially over time. £1,000 in cash in 1940 would have bought you well, thousands of times more than it does today. So how big is the UK economy measure that current price is not adjusted for inflation? Well, the total size of the UK economy in uh, 2019 was £2.21 trillion. Pounds, a little bit above £200 billion up on the year before. Now, this measures the size of the economy, the size of the value of output of goods and services in nominal terms, in monetary terms, but not in real terms. So we want to know whether the economy is getting bigger or smaller in real terms. Therefore, we have to make a calculation. So how do we convert data in nominal terms into data expressed in real terms? Well, we're going to work through a, a quick example with you in this video. So in 2019, the nominal or monetary value of GDP for the UK was 2.21 trillion. And let's, we're going to assume we're going to take the consumer price index for 2019, the overall index of consumer prices. We're going to give that a value, a base year value of 100. Uh, now, uh, let's move on. Let's assume the nominal value of GDP goes down in 2020 because of the pandemic. So let's assume we shave... 0.21 trillion off the nominal value of GDP because of lockdown, of shutdown of large parts of the economy. We're also going to assume that at the same time, consumer prices go up by 2% over the year. So not only has the nominal value of the economy become smaller, but there's also been a rise in prices, a 2% inflation. What that means, of course, is that the consumer price index will have gone up. It was initially 100 what happens to the CPI? It's going to rise to 102, 2% rise in prices. There's a bit of data for you. So, assuming the nominal value falls to 2 trillion, uh, and at the same time the consumer price index rises to 102, 
Let's think about the real GDP calculation. So real GDP in 2020 will be the nominal level in 2020, 2 trillion, times by 100 divided by the price index for that year. So it's nominal GDP times 100 over the price index for the year. And if we put the numbers in, it's 2 trillion times 100 over 102. You see on the right hand side here, 100 over 102 is going to give us a figure of less than 1, isn't it? Okay. And essentially we are deflating that 2 trillion figure by 100 over 102. That will give us the real value. It gives us 1.961 trillion. Now that is a real figure because we've converted to a base year price index for 2019. So real GDP is expressed at constant base year prices 2019, 1.961 trillion. That's how you convert nominal into real data. Okay, uh, we'll post another video, I think, with some exercises, some questions where exam questions ask you to make this calculation. But hopefully that explains a bit the difference between nominal and real GDP. Okay, thank you.